This is Colombia, the country of the Sacred Heart and the Catholic capital of the world. And there, in the heart of this land, lies Santander, the region of the brave people, the cradle of exquisite flavors, and the home of incredible natural attractions that invite you to venture into them. Welcome to Santander para el Mundo, an experience of the government Siempre Santander that will demonstrate why our department is an ideal destination for you. Backpackers, we are right now in the heart of the Garcia Rovira province. Guys, let me introduce you to the town of San Andres, the touristic mirror of Santander. San Andres is located 103 kilometers from Bucaramanga. It was founded by Father Fray José de las Casas Novas and Don Juan Fernando Caballero de los Olivos in 1760. This town receives its name due to the finding of an image of the Apostle San Andres within a purple stone. Legends, myths and stories are a fundamental part of San Andres' identity. In the center of the main park, a white heron poses imposingly. Its image brings back the memory of a history that dates back to 1938, when a wave of violence broke out between liberals and conservatives. At the same time, legend has it that a winter storm caused heavy rains and the overflowing of rivers in the area. In spite of the misfortune that the people of San Andres lived through, they said that one day the town dawned with its streets full of white herons, in the trees, in the houses, even in the highest part of the church. According to the local legend, the partisan conflict at the bad weather finally ceased. Check this out, we arrived at the store of Don Helbert, a native from San Andres that is well known here for making the traditional candies of our land. Here we find the traditional panuchas from the very hands of Don Helbert. This sweet is shaped like a small semi-soft empanada filled with sweet caramel or arequipe with some shredded coconut. Here you can also find a traditional ice cream recipe topped with arequipe. Let's try this one. Backpackers, from a delightful sweet taste, we move on to salty flavors, because no one can leave Santander without tasting a signature recipe of our gastronomy, Mute Santanderiano. Mute Santanderiano is a traditional puffed corn soup, served with a side of cow's feet or chicken thigh, some vegetables, among other ingredients. In Santander, it's very common to match this plate with some boiled yuca, fresh avocado salad, goat meat, and the very famous pepitoria. Enjoy your meal. We finally arrived at Laguna de Ortices, the most stunning tourist attraction here in San Andres. Its beauty hides the most famous legends of San Andres, like the legend of Doña Juana de Ortiz. They say that Doña Juana lived in the center of this land before it became a lagoon. That is why the lagoon is named after her. In this lagoon you can do different activities, such as swimming or just go boating. And this time, Vanessa will join me during this tour through the lagoon and she will tell me some local myths about it. Cuenta la leyenda que esta laguna se formó y está a nombre, bueno, de una señora que se llamaba Juana de los Ortices. Ya venía desde la Mesa de los Santos y ella se radicó acá en este corregimiento que es la laguna. Cada día ella iba echando agua en una taza y cada día era como más grande, más grande, hasta que se formó esta laguna. The Ortices Lagoon is the only one in Colombia and third in Latin America that lies in warm weather. They say that the temperature of its waters is warm and special to relax. In the Ortiz's Lagoon, you can do different activities, such as camping, just lining the lagoon, or go boating and swimming. So here we are, right in the middle of the Ortiz's Lagoon, and about to jump, we end our tour here in San Andres. This was Santander para el Mundo, an experience of the government of Mauricio Aguilar Hurtado. Somos siempre Santander.